Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Dishonored. Not sure how long I'm going to have to record. Uh, I'm going to see Star Trek Into Darkness tonight. I'm going to choose the ridiculous path to get to where I'm going, of course. Gotta love that agility upgrade, allowing the double jumps. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. For those of you astute viewers that know the sound that a Google Talk message makes, yes, that is the sound that you heard in the background there. You know what? I'm just going to assume that it's not going to happen over and over again. So as to avoid the downright alt tabbiness of getting rid of it. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. I like how they just leave so many valuable things around there. Rebel base camp. Just waiting to be pilfered and then turned into upgrades. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Sleep is for the weak. Just climb aboard when you're ready. Block and counterattack are overrated. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Gunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole Gunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions, and the like seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Hmm. There's a bone charm that way. So we can already sort of tell the level level is over there. Doesn't it feel like there should be something hidden over here, though? There's no runes or bone charms, but it just... It feels so hidey over here. There is a, like... A ship at a weird angle. I don't know that it's crashed, but... It is oddly skewed off to one side, at the very least. Give him a severely deadly beating, is what. Okay, yeah, I got it. I don't want a severely deadly beating, though. I guess I better stay away from those guys. They're mean. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. I'm actually going to turn up my brightness a little bit. I cannot really see. 
I think more than anything, it's just that I've got my windows open and it's a bright sunny day out today, but you know what? Don't really matter. There we go. Hope that, that brightness just a bit. No foot traffic is allowed across yeah, it's much better. Bridge much better. Until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will it might not be allowed, but you can't stop me. Alright. These are still very far away in general. 50 meters is the closest one. I can drop down onto this without being detected. Hmm. Oh, oh. Alright, alright. He had friends, like, right next to him, but those friends aren't very observant. Can I go back up that hatch? A little bit of weird graphics glitches. I, I don't want to, like, try and throw him up here and then, like, miss. Alright, there we go. That's a pretty well hidden body, I would say. Let's go ahead and hit dark vision just to make sure that we kind of know where people are here. Where are you people's at? I could just go choke him out, actually. And then I don't have to worry about him ever again. And then he just dumps him. Easy peasy. His sword is hanging out, you know. No real human being would fall for this, but... Ah, I want to end dark vision. There we go. It's really funny. Nobody over there. Dark vision is so useful. I wish it didn't make the game so ugly, though. You know, like this color of like orange that it makes everything. Why not like a why not a pretty shade of blue? <laughs> All right. I'm not seeing much of anything to even hide from around here. I like how like this guy here. Like as long as he doesn't see a see an actual body, he just doesn't even notice that his friends have gone completely and totally missing, even when their uh, their paths should cross. Like, if you think about it, in real life, you'd have to get rid of that guy, too, because he just noticed that the other patrols had disappeared. And that alone would make him suspicious, even if he didn't see a body. Oh. Nope, I didn't really, didn't really want that. Collect blueprints to unlock new upgrades and equipment in Piero's workshop, the Hound's Pit Pub. Boot Stealth. That seems good. So I could like, alright, I can find a whale oil tank and then I can probably take this across. But where could I find a whale oil tank? Hmm, doesn't look like, actually yeah, it does look like I can take these boxes. Oh. This, is this opening? Oh no, it's moving the the chain over to there. So now I'm going to be able to jump across there would be my guess. And over there, there are whale oil tanks. Oh. Huh. Alright. May have alarmed someone. Should probably just dropped down with this. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure. Like, I, it said what the on the subtitles. I actually wouldn't have been able to hear that in the actual game itself, but... Oh, someone is alarmed right now. The musical cues and the subtitles and stuff are freaking me out, but I think I'm actually okay. All right, let's roll. All right, so 
ideally, I'd like to get across to that room there. I feel like uh, between my double jump and my blink, I can pretty much just get across here. Maybe even just the blink alone. That would be more stealthy. I feel like these people just aren't very observant. Oh no! There's a wall between me and it. I think I can just go through the other way, though. Block from the other side. Those dastardly dastards. Wow, there's no people over there. I can at least look through the keyhole, though. Maybe see what's blocking it off. There's a balcony on the other side here, so maybe I can just go around along the outside. Hmm. Can I like climb this pipe here? No. No, I cannot. Huh. Something tells me I can't like cling to the side of the wall here either. I'm not Spider-Man. I'm I'm just a dude with some magic powers. Humble few magic powers. Getting over here. Just maybe I can go around the other side of the building then. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. Huh. No Can't, foot though. traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention, all citizens. I don't even know if that's a real door or not. Oh, oh no. Miles along Caldwin's Bridge. During this period, curfew will end tomorrow morning. Two, uh, two lightning bolts is a pretty alarmed person. I saw Slackjaw with your mother. Yeah, I saw him with your father. It's a pretty alarmed person over there. He's pretty suspicious. Hmm. But I want the rune. Maybe I just need to go down and around. I'll be able to climb up down there. Uh, trigger dark vision once more. There it is. It's always just a chain. The answer to every every problem in this game is oh yeah, you just like go around the other side and then there's this. Ch oh no! Oh god. All right, I need blink. Um, alright, hagfish are going to come for me. They're going to come for me soon. I can't jump, so I can't make it back up to there. Alright, there doesn't actually seem to be many, many hagfish around here, so that's good. Man, I should really close background programs that make noises. <laughs> Ordinarily, that's step one. This is just sort of like an, oh, I had time that I didn't expect, so I wasn't going through, like, my normal checklist of stuff to make a walk through. Sorry about those noises, guys. Alright, hagfish do hurt you, so I do need to blink out of this. Stupid Ah, uh, really? I'm gonna have to kill people to get out of this, I think. I was just being greedy about trying to not use my blink there. That's what started all of this. These guys are not very observant, thankfully. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention, all citizens. Right. We're gonna be no fine. Just trying this again. I suppose I don't need to be so meticulous about waiting for curfew the regen. I can just start blinking around a lot faster because I've got maxed out Piero's remedies. That, uh...